If you've got a Mercury Optimax two-stroke outboard, you may have an issue with the oil pump. Now, this octopus of a mess is the oil pump on an Optimax. Basically, it's a little solenoid motor that pumps oil from the center hose out and meters it through all these other hoses to each component that needs to be lubricated. Now, it's very common for these to develop a leak, and the right way to fix it is to replace the entire pump assembly. But what if you don't want to replace your pump assembly? I'm going to show you a possible fix for this. I say possible because it may not be the greatest idea. Uh, you can really mess up your oil pump, and if you mess up your oil pump and try to run your engine, you're really going to mess up your engine. So be aware, this is probably not the best way to fix this. But in a pinch, if you need to fix your oil leak, you could give this a try. Let's have a look. So once you get the oil pump removed from your Optimax motor, you'll notice there are three four millimeter hex screws here. If you spin these three guys out, this is a pump that I picked up off eBay to show you how to do this. Spin these three screws up out. Then the actual electronic solenoid portion will come out with part of the uh, inside portion. Now that's, that's not supposed to come apart like that. Um, I guess for parts are not working, means somebody else has already attempted to repair it. Um, so as you can see, maybe you can't see if it's not focusing, uh, somebody's already had a hold of this pretty good with some pliers. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, this is the piece we'd be removing, though. There's a little disc that normally has the plunger of the solenoid attached to it. That would be this brass part is normally on there permanently and you, to remove it safely you would grip this with your fingers not pliers don't use pliers like whoever the ebay seller is probably did with theirs and you would just kind of gently rock it and maybe try spinning and for the most part you can always get these to pop out if you're patient see right there popped out, no pliers needed. Um, once you get that off, notice this. This is the piston that pumps the oil, which I'm probably pumping oil onto the floor of my shop now. This O-ring right here, and you can see this one is pretty getting kind of stiff. So it, it, it is still rubbery and flexible, but it's also flattened out and it's a bit stiff. So what you'd need to replace that is one of these, three millimeter by 036. So it is a 36 millimeter inside diameter, three millimeter cross section, which ends up being like a 40 two millimeter outside diameter. And this is a Viton O-ring. Viton is important because the Viton will stand up to oil, gas, anything that you may see in here. There's a link to these in the description if you choose to do this to your oil pump. And comparing this to the old one, it looks a little fuller, not as flat. And so that would just set right down in there, just like it came. And then you would put your solenoid body back on and press it down into place. Now this is a point, this one is um, got some little stamp marks where they've um, peened it in, but you may need to just Tap it in. To 
fill its seats. Then reinstall your solenoid, put your screws back in, tighten everything up and reinstall it back on the boat. Now that you've got this done, all back together, sealed up with a fresh new Viton O-ring, you should be in good shape for whatever Mercury two-stroke you have that uses this style oil pump. I know there's a few different ones, Optimax, Pro Access. There's a bunch of them that use this style pump. And while replacing the O-ring isn't really recommended by Mercury, there's plenty of people that do it. Um, there's videos on YouTube of people that have uh, a kit that they sell, which is pretty much the O-ring. So um, this should solve your leaky oil pump problem um, for a while. Eventually that O-ring may degrade like yours originally did. Uh, and in that case, you can just replace it again. So everything you need in order to complete this task is down in the description of the video. So you can check that out if you have a leaky oil pump on your Mercury direct injected two stroke. And otherwise, hopefully this was helpful to you and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.